This video explores the use of various sketchless 3D tools that speed design. Our goal is to learn the concepts and use the tools to modify our storage unit project, which we built in video one. The basic approach doesn't vary at all. You remember from video one, there are three steps involved in sketchless design. Those are insert, size, and locate. The biggest productivity gains in Sketchless 3D are reached by creating a design, copying, and modifying it. For example, make an assembly bigger and add shelves, doors, and drawers. This way you can achieve a different look, layout, or function for your design in a minimum amount of time and effort. In this video, we use the Clone tool, Clone and Mirror, Clone and Space, and the Align function of Sketchless 3D. We start by creating a new project and inserting the storage unit main assembly we created in the first video. We'll pull that assembly from the library. Again, this is a huge productivity gain since you only need to design a small amount of original objects and reuse them. Open Sketchlist and start a new project. This is going to be Storage Unit 2. Height is 96, width is 72, depth is 36. First thing we do is take the default assembly and delete it. Next, go to the insert assembly icon, the top left, and select insert from library. Scroll down and see the main box assembly and add that. First thing I'm going to do is right click that blue dot, change its bottom value to 0 and its left value to 0. Then we're going to change the size. Right click the top red dot, change the height to 72. Now you notice the pink plane here. That's where the stretching originates. Now we've made some room for additional shelving. I'm going to do that by cloning the bottom shelf. So go into the basic box. I double click the assembly name in the work level and select that bottom. Clone that. It makes an exact copy. Now you notice that it doesn't look like there's a copy in there, but if you look at the spreadsheet, this bottom one is highlighted to indicate that it is indeed there. I'm going to right click that blue dot, change its bottom value to 10, and say OK. Now I've got a fur board. Use the clone and space feature, select the board, clone and space, want to come from the bottom. I'm going to put in three boards, space them 15 inches apart, and clone. These boards are all spaced evenly. There is an option in Sketchless 3D Clone and Space to specify the span across which you want to put a certain number of boards and have Sketchless apply them equally. You can check that out in the Sketchless 3D manual. So you see the clone is a combination, a, a hybrid. It not only inserted the boards, but with the clone in space, also located those. 
but if I wanted to make this location different, I right click that blue dot and in this case say the bottom is 60 inches. One of the changes of course is to delete so I could go in there, select that and just delete the lower shelf. I go back to the project level in the work area I can take this whole assembly and clone and space it. This time I'm going to do that to the left. I'm going to make one copy and there's going to be just two inches between clone. Now what's happened is that that combination of the two assemblies exceeds the size of the project. So what I'm going to do is change this, right click that red dot, make its width say 30 inches like that, and clone in space one more time from the left one, say 3 inches, clone, and there's my second assembly. Now what I can do, I can go into this assembly, so I highlight the assembly. If I double click in the work level, it puts me into that assembly. I'm going to delete that board, and then go back to the project level, take that assembly, right click the red dot, change this height like that and you have that effect. Go back to the main unit work level, double click, take this board, I'm going to clone it, just move it over that way, like that. Then I can take these, and shift red dot move, snapping that there, shift red dot move, snapping it that, like that. And if I wanted to align that shelf to the left side, so I, I select that, hold down the shift key on the keyboard and select those, say align, align to the left, like that. Now I can take that board, hold down the shift, align, and align to the left. come back to the project level. You see that we've changed the look significantly. I took that and deleted that and then clone and mirror. I take that blue dot value, copy it, take this blue dot value and paste it, and you see the effect of the clone and mirror. So in this video, we use the tools for cloning, clone and mirror, clone and space. We showed how to use the design tool to locate boards in a relation to each other. And as always, we made heavy use of the red and blue dots in locating. More detail on all of this is available in the Sketchlist 3D version 5 manual.